uh, internal systems to support that data process and to ensure that there's more transparency is we've developed this system for the support from uh, Sweden, of course, uh, through the, the ODI team uh, called the Liberia Project Dashboard. What the dashboard does for us is that uh, we are able to see across 11 budget sectors. There are 11 budget sectors that the government of Liberia plans uh, uh, in terms of our annual budget, how, how, uh, we, where we want to intervene. So the 11 budget sector is what we have. We have set up the system to, to track and see. Along that 11 budget sector, we are able to see whether uh, which sector is overly funded or which sector is underfunded. With, with the data, we, we are also able to, uh, uh, to, to look at the data by donor. So we're able to see which donor is doing what in which sector and what size is their support to Liberia in that particular sector. So in the Liberia Project Dashboard, we are also able to locate the project by location. So we have a geo, geo code to each of the projects. So we can tell if it is in the central region, which particular town it is, uh, how much that, that disbursement in terms of quarterly, what it looks like, how much, you know, we, we are now trying to run into the impact side where we can actually see what the dollars is doing or, or, what, the, or the, what the pounds is doing. So we want to see, uh, so we look at the financing first in terms of the dashboard, and then we are now trying to relate that to the results. What results are we generating of the system helps with a stronger decision because then it allows the government and the development partners to say, look, we know that this is what is happening across uh, the, the landscape of development in Liberia. Can we re-look at the numbers? Can we redeploy the number? Can we look at sector that is underfunded? For example, if we just look on our dashboard, classically, just looking on the dashboard, you see that trade and commerce or industrialization is underfunded. You know, just by logging into the dashboard, that gives you a picture. So you are able to look at that picture and say, look, next year in our national planning, uh, working with development envelope and that of what the national budget says, can we move some money into industrialization? And what, seg what segment of industrialization can we address? So transparency, data processing, uh, uh, the systems that we put in place allows us to really take key decisions. So for Liberia, this is key. Because for us, it starts around coordination, it starts around alignment, it starts around accountability, it starts around results. So if you put all those pieces together and you're looking at the bigger picture, you, you want to make sure that you, you maximize what is in the envelope of, of development financing coming to Liberia.